I'm very particular about the sealers and that I've spoken a lot about them, I've done a lot of research in, on them, and I feel that that element of your process, the sealer, is the most important step in your project, especially for kitchens. So uh, some of you may have seen or read about my sealing stain testing process that I've um, put out and done over 10 years ago, and the results of that have shaped a lot of the decision making that many folks around the world use in terms of choosing a finish. So that protocol of, of testing and evaluating the finish is what I used here on a sample of Omega. And so this panel has been tested. It was um, tested in, in September of, of uh, last year. So it's, it's certainly not a, a new, new panel, um, but it clearly shows that there are no stains in this area. And what you're seeing are 14 different staining agents tested for four different times from 15 minutes all the way to 24 hours. And so one of the worst is mustard, yellow mustard, which is would be right in this area here. And yellow mustard, of course, has turmeric, which makes it yellow, and it also has vinegar in it, which is a big challenge for some finishes. Now, you don't see any etching, you don't see any staining. I will say that after 24 hours, there was a very slight yellow um, discoloration on the surface where the turmeric did not stain the concrete, and it didn't even stain the sealer. Turmeric tends to stick to a lot of substances. If you have plasticware or things in your house and you use mustard or turmeric or curry, a lot of curry often has turmeric in it, it stains everything, so it's a very aggressive material. That had a slight yellow discoloration. And the solution to get rid of it is super simple. Household bleach. If I just took household bleach and I folded a paper towel or a napkin, soaked it with bleach, set it on there, and let it sit there for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, however long it took for that to go away. And I've even tested bleach as one of the staining agents to make sure that bleach, even after 24 hours, doesn't affect the surface. So you can clean your countertops with straight bleach or straight vinegar. Lemon juice doesn't touch this. Tabasco sauce doesn't touch this. So there are many things that you're gonna use in your kitchen, food items, cleaners, that I've tested that have no F effect on Omega. I've also tested heat. This sample also withstood 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like 260 or 270 centigrade. I don't have my conversion factor going on in my head right now, but it's hot. It's hotter than anything that's gonna come off your, your stove top. No marks. The finish is not affected by heat. And lastly, this can go outside. It will not yellow outside. So you can put this finish on pieces that go out in the sun and stay out in the sun.